<laughs> you thought you knew how to play Galaxy of Heroes. Well, today you're going to be reminded why I am called the king of Triple B. God's gift to mobile gaming. Because while the whales have been spending all that fat cash, <laughs> yes! he's been waiting in the shadows. While you've been putting all of your galactic legends on defense and taking advantage of the broken Grand Arena matchmaking, oh, there we go! He's been watching, and let me tell you, no freaking way, no freaking way, this is working! Lobot baby, he's coming to town. Oh, Lobot, you mad lad! Welcome to 2022. You are officially destroying a galactic legend. <laughs> So this is gonna be a little wild here. <laughs> so stay with me for a second. Uh, I know, again, uh, I don't know how many times I'm gonna say it. I know we don't like data crons, but I think this is actually gonna be very important because it's pretty accessible in terms of obtaining this raw, untamed power. And even if you don't have Lobot, I have several things that's gonna be helpful for you today. But Lobot, wow, this is the most use I've seen out of Lobot ever. And you don't even need really any of his abilities upgraded here. The only ability we need is Optimize because he's got a cleanse on him and his parallel processing gives him 5.5% speed. <laughs> what a weird number. For each living droid ally, and you might be wondering, what's the team we're working with? This one right here. Lobot is getting speed from the Dark Trooper and the Datacrons. I don't really show a lot of Datacrons unless it could be helpful like the Jedi Master Luke thing. I think this is actually very helpful, even without Lobot here, because you're getting 25% to murder. Here's the thing. I originally started off testing Shock T here, and spoiler, Shock T does work, and it's easier now more than ever. You're getting 25% turn meter here. Check this out, 294. We're gonna now add, multiply that by the 5.5% speed, so 1.055. He's got a 310 speed. And what you're gonna do now is you're gonna add that turn meter boost to get the effective opening speed. So you're gonna divide that by one minus the turn meter boost, which is 25% from that data cron, which is 0.75. We have a 413 speed over on low bots here and all we need is optimize literally at level one but i was so mad when i was testing this out i forgot completely that you need at least relic three to take advantage of these data crons which is stupid they should be allowing data crons for people that know how to take a small roster and use it to their advantage with the Datacrons. Datacrons have not been friendly to small rosters out there. So I needed to give them the Relic 3. And that's why this is mostly a joke, but I do have some serious helpful tips for you in this video as well. And then once he can just, let me just show you how it works. I was just blown away when we ran this here. Check this out here. Oh man, I'm a gun dog. I was like the last meme, the dream. Here's the new one. Lord Vader's gonna go, Maul's gonna go, and check this out. So we have Sep's Lord Vader on the other side. It's got the debuff decreasing to the, the cooldowns. But look at this, Lobot's ready to dial in the numbers. Oh, he's changing the station. He's cranking it up a little bit. He's ready to cleanse all these debuffs off us. Go for my brother, hit it. Crank it up. And we're off to the races, save that storm attack. We don't need it. Let's go ahead. We're going to do this right now. Beautifully done. We're going to stop on the ground. Looking like a fool, my friend. Do another one of those puppies for me. Thinking we're just going to do a basic for right now. I'm not going to waste that swarm. And there we go. Let's do this. Let's go for Vader next here. Get him out of my sights. He's out of here. Not even a chance. Oh, here's what we're going to do. We're going to start working on Lord Vader here. Send the small swarm. Look at Loba watching his creation just go out of control here let's see if we can try to get rid of thrawn <laughs> we their own medicine. <laughs> we die. Oh, we die. Of the 
most fun I've had. I love seeing underdog characters do something special. The last time I kind of had this feeling was I'm a gun guy doing some absolutely monstrous things when Kiadi Mundi came out. It's kind of giving me those vibes. What's the point in this conversation? Do you need Lobot to pull it off? No, but man, is it a flex and the most you've ever seen out of Lobot taking down a galactic legend here. What I originally started off with, and let's get into the more pragmatic, realistic version of this video here. But you know, if you have Lobot, now's the time to utilize them. What's going on here? Level three Datacrons, uh, as I've said, they have made some good changes for farming Datacrons. I, it's, it's pretty easy to get level threes. All you need is one. 25% turn meter boost data crown, which requires relic three, which is the unfortunate part. But chances are you have a shock T. We're gonna show Captain Rex freaking Akbar as well. And true might be your best option here. What you really need to do is idealistically before the terminator kicks in, you kind of want to get in that 280 speed because you need to make sure you outrun your Piet to get the cleanse going. So let me show you the math here. This is overkill right here. I'm not even moving mods for these other guys here. 315. We're gonna divide that by 0.75. For, for a terminator boost, I mean, <laughs> nice. 420, I mean, how could this possibly fail right here? This is what, if you guys remember, we, this used to be a counter. It just, it still is, but it's, it was kind of not very obtainable for the normal person because you need some really good speeds on shock to outrun Piet. Well, now they're just giving away turn meter boost with these Datacrons. This is what it's going to be helpful for those that maybe are at a mod disadvantage here, but if you're at a mod disadvantage, chances are you're probably going to be also at a Datacron disadvantage, but let's not get bogged down to details. Again, due to the Datacron, we're able to outrun it, cleanse, and give speed up over the Piet, and this, the situation's pretty much the same. We're going to save the mass swarm for a second because I want to get some more Emperor's Trap going. We're going to go ahead and start doing that. Get Range Trooper up in here. Nicely done. Great assist going on here. Let's go drop a basic. Three, two, one. Can I get one more? Thank you, my friend. I, I, I feel like I'm always in tune with this guy. I, I just know when he's about to just unload another assist. I'm going to start working on Lord Vader. I want to use the swarm there. Yeah, get a couple hits over there. All right, let's start getting us some Terminator boost again. Let's start working on Thrawn's probably going to be an easier target to take out. He's gone. There's some more free Terminator. Let's start working on Darth Vader. And he's going to be gone after that one there. And we're all back in on Lord Vader yet again. Not a lot of stuff. That's going to be working in this guy's favor here. Let's see if we can just keep that Terminator train rolling here. And that might be it. Three, two, one. This is the more realistic part of this video, but it's not as exciting. But still, nonetheless, I think it's going to be very practical. But let's say Shock T, even though for me, she's not important. She's kind of lingering around. She's a good character still, but she's not needed for anything. She's just a, you know, Jedi Master Kenobi, Bad Batch, Jedi Master Luke Skywalker, Jedi Luke. She's kind of, she doesn't have a permanent home. But that's still a very nice use for it with Imperial Troopers. But let's say that's that's too expensive for you. <laughs> well, I know a lot of you guys have at least a Relic Akbar to some degree for the ship or for a variety of legendary events that exist out there. Again, concept is the same. Light side, cleanser, Datacron, 25% Terminator, and luckily it's a <laughs> It's got cleansing capabilities attached to it as well. Uh, and that's all we need. We just need someone that's going to get out there and cleanse the, for the crew. Let me just show you what the speeds are. 283, that's going to be more than enough to get us going. Again, you don't need crazy mods to pull this off. 280 is not incredibly hard. The so characters too. Even some 270s might work. Lobot was a very funny situation because he gets that 5.5% turn meter boost and gets some rolling uh, because of Dark Trooper. As a result, here we go. Let's go ahead. Pop it. It's a trap. <laughs> You know, this is the one situation where Piet's like, all right, okay, we're going to set our differences aside. Let's just make some magic happen here. Again, we got the cleanse going for Piet gets their Terminator on. Because then once you start your train, there ain't no stopping. Let's get some more turn meter on us here. Go ahead, stop the ground. More buffs. Get the big D for the assist. I'm, uh, I, I, I knew he wasn't going to assist there. I, I, could, I could tell when he's going to want to assist and when he's not. Can I get one more? Yeah, I knew. See, I'm telling you, I know when this guy's going to spot me. Again, I don't want to waste this swarm on any of these peasants on the side. Smash them. Oh, we even got a ability block on Lord Vader. Even better. Oh, and a double assist. If, oh, it's triple. Ah! Oh! Oh! Whoa! Go! <laughs> Get this loser out of here. Let's go ahead. This is you guys. Listen, this is my video game realm right here. I am God's gift to mobile gaming. Get him. Get him out of here. 
That is almost a max banner win right there against Lord Vader. Great Lord Vader team. <sighs> that was gorgeous. Uh, I guess fun fact about that Akbar that we just threw in there. He, he's not as elaborate as, you know, Shock T, for example, but you're recovering 9% health, which is nice. You know, so it's great for getting banners back, but usually troopers will get that banner count back anyways, because when you're killing people off, uh, they're just getting stats back. Next one, let's keep the uh, rebels are getting a lot of love this data crown cycle. Chirrut, let me show you this here. Uh, this actually might be the best option. It's not expensive like Shock T, and it's actually more useful than Akbar. I mean, Lobot's king. <laughs> we don't want to compare, but we're going to get tons of kill over time. Let me show you the speed real quick. 297. Again, you don't need anything crazy. He's got a fast base speed to work with. But with Veers, this is where Chirrut might be better. You're getting 10% Terminator, whatever they gain a buff. Well, look at how many buffs we're going to end up getting here. Uh, let's go ahead, send it on in. Let me actually double check. Does the, the cleanse happens first, right? Yeah. Okay. So let me show you what this looks like here. Same drill again. Uh, Peril Troopers, man, uh, I'm going to update my Datacron spreadsheet because definitely did not originally account for the fact that they could benefit from having a light side cleanser on their team to get out there. All right. Same drill here. We're going to go ahead. We're going to go do the equalization, but watch the turn meter boost. Boom. Look at that. So much turn meter ready to go. We're going to mark down the big D. And again, we're off to the races. We're not going to waste the swarm just yet. We want to build up Emperor's Trap. Get some nice assists coming in. I knew he didn't have it in him. That's perfectly fine. Um, hmm. I'm going to just do some turn meter. I probably could have just done... I mean, could have done something a little bit different there, I feel like. Uh, I still don't want to do this yet. Let's just do a basic... Oh, beautiful assist. I just knew something was waiting for me. On the other side. Get rid of Vader. I'll smell you later. Let's go for Thrawn. Uh, I don't know what's funny that rhymes with Thrawn. I'm... I'm going to see your mom. Okay, that didn't work out well. Can we, Gary, can we cut that part out? All right, let's keep going. All in over here. And again, very, very good banners. Uh, this looks like it might be a one banner. Oh, my gosh. Okay, possibly two banner drop situation here. Uh, let's see. Keep it going. And let's just do another basic. There you go. And uh, I mean, so this kind of goes on and on and on. I'm trying to think of some other budget friendly light side cleansers that can get the same concept done uh captain rex is another one that comes to mind captain rex is probably the most expensive out of this list but in case you just want to see what that datacron does it makes a huge difference here so you know you go through the list and you know look at your roster i think Chirrut, akbar freaking lobot if you have them are probably gonna be the most budget friendly just so they get out their cleanse and you're off to the races at that point here so let's throw, do it one more time captain rex just for the fun of it just to show you what it looks like here uh, but wow um i don't know i think it, i'm just you know that's funny seeing some cool things work out like loba it just sucks you need relic three i don't know who thought having a relic requirement was necessary for this anyways captain rex we're gonna get tenacity so that's a buff but secondly we're gonna get cleansing which is gonna be great and we're also gonna get turn meter from captain rex as well so look at that pretty much full turn meter when captain rex will outrun us he gets more turn meter because he's a clone and again off to the races at this point let's go ahead and just get some more terminator fed to our team so we can just keep that train rolling big time my friend now i will caveat i think uh in grand arena this or territories this could be more tricky in the situation there's a mara jade magma trooper combo candorous mall lord vader combo uh there's probably ways to stop this and maybe i'm wrong but the point being is this is a very typical grand arena lineup that we would traditionally see lingering around out there and wow i mean i know we bully in lord vader he did get a little better with the data crons for the first cycle but now he's back to being chump level galactic legend it seems like here let's see, just throw a fist straight through vader's mask he's gonna feel that one lately i don't know if kylo's gonna want to hold on to that mask uh there we go and you guys get the drill here several battles back to back to back to back to back to back absolutely flawless there you go i actually don't like captain rex much here he doesn't have a cleanse he actually makes you lose more banners uh the point was just to show go through your roster imperial troopers a lot of you guys have them um <laughs> even pimples he's laughing at um our little discovery of lobot right there 
Uh, there you guys go. Lobot is officially meta. Shout out to Urz. I know he doesn't play Galaxy Viewers anymore, but man, if he was here, this would be a great addition to what he used to do way back when called Lobot versus the meta. So, ladies and gentlemen, Gungies and Droids, you've, you've seen it here first. World's first Lobot versus Galactic Legend. <laughs> and they said I was mad. Well, I'm a little crazy, but I'm not mad. I'm absolutely ecstatic about that. So take advantage of this. We're going to have this Datacron set uh, up until October. They're here to stay. I know um, we don't like Datacrons, but I think this is the situation where if you have a, a Relic 3 Cleanser and Imperial Troopers, this is going to be a banger thing. I like when low Datacrons can make some magic happen. Let me know what you guys think. Are you a believer? Leave that like, comment down below, subscribe. So you're not missing a thing. And although Lobot's leading the charge, say, just remember, it's, it's great, great to be. Great to be. <laughs> in the empire today i'll see you later